Cheer the wanderer, lone and tempest-tossed. No storms can hide that radiance peaceful beaming, since Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible when my heart is broken, when sin and grief have filled my soul with fear. Give me the precious words by Jesus spoken, Hold up faith's lamp to show my Savior near. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible, all my steps enlighten. Teach me the dangers of these realms below. That lamp of safety or the gloom shall brighten. That light alone the path of peace can show. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible, lamp of life immortal, hold up the splendor by the open grave. Show me the light from heaven's shining portals. Show me the glory gilding Jordan's wave. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Break thou the bread of life, dear Lord, to me. As thou didst Break the loaves beside the sea. Beyond the sacred page, I seek thee, Lord. My spirit pants for thee, O living word, bless thou the truth, dear Lord, to me, to me, as thou didst bless the bread by shall find my peace, my all in all. 
Hi everyone. Um, I might, I might have to switch cameras. Uh, I'm trying out something different. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to be reading in Genesis, uh, chapters uh, 16 through 18. Who do we got in? Alright, I think I'm good. Okay. Is everybody doing good? Remember if you have uh, any prayer requests, you can leave them in the private chat, no, the chat there. How, how's my audio, guys? Uh, I'm trying something different. My video's a little laggy, but uh, how's my audio? Um, I hope. Hey, Carissa. Uh, she says, Matt and I can hear you fine. Great. Uh, well, this is not okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to change cameras here. Give me just a second. And then we will, if you have a pre request, will you wait for me to uh, get this situated? I'm going to do what I normally do. Give me just a second here. Is everybody doing alright? Okay, so zoom in, in, share, and all right, we're good now. How's everybody doing? In just a few minutes, we're going to be reading, uh, we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 16 through 18, so if you want to follow along in your Bibles. Uh, Chris says we are tired. Uh, Matt and I, Matt and I had dialysis. Morning, so we got, uh, had to get up at 3 a.m. to get there. Ooh. That's no fun. Oh. Give me just another minute here. Um, there we go. Wow.
So do you have do you all have any prayer requests? Now I'm pretty well set up. I'm having all sorts of struggles today. Alright. Well, as always, if you have prayer requests, you can still submit them during the reading. But we're going to go ahead and read Genesis chapter 16 through 18. Sixteen to eighteen. Genesis sixteen. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children. She had a female Egyptian servant whose name was Hagar. And Sarah said, Behold now, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my servant. It may be that I shall obtain children by her. And Abram listened to the voice of, of Sarai. So after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar the Egyptian, her servant, and gave her to Abram. Abram, her husband, as a wife. And he went into Hagar, and she conceived. And when she had conceived, uh, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked with contempt on her mistress. And Sarah said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be on you. My servant to you in place, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Behold, your servant is in your power. Do to her as you please. Then Sarai dealt harshly with her, and she fled from her. Six, Genesis 16, verse 7. The angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring of the way of Shur. And he said to her, Hagar, servant of Sarah. Where have you come from, and where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her. Then the angel of the Lord said, I will surely multiply you, your offspring so they cannot be numbered a multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are pregnant, you shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has listened to your affliction. He shall be a wild donkey of a man, his hand against everyone, and everyone's hand against him. And he shall dwell over all his kinsmen. So she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are a God of seeing. 
for she said, Truly here I have seen him who looks after me. Therefore the well was called Beliaru. It lies between Kadesh and Barad. Then Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram called the name of his son whom he bore Ishmael. Abram was eighty six years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to Abram. Chapter seventeen. Genesis chapter 17 When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. That I may make my covenant between me and you, and may multiply you greatly. Then Abram, sorry, then Abram fell on his face and said to, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name Abraham. For I have made you a father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I shall establish my covenant between me and you, your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be their God to, you, to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and your offspring after the after you the land of your sojourning, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout the generations. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Verse 12. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Every male throughout your generations, whether born in your house or bought with money from, from any foreigner who is not of your offspring, both he who is born in your house and he who is bought with money shall be circumcised, shall surely be circumcised. So shall my covenant be a new flesh, an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. And God said to Abraham, As for Sarah your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. 
I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall become nations. Kings of people shall come from her. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said, Shall a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. And God said, No. But Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply greatly. He, sh he shall father twelve princes, and I shall make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bury you at this time next year. When he had finished talking with him, God went up to a, up from Abraham. Then Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all those born in house were bought with money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, Abraham's house, and he circumcised the flesh of the foreskins that that very day, as God had told, had said to him. Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. That very day, Abraham and his son Ishmael were circumcised, and all the men of the house, those born in the house, and those bought with money from a foreigner, were circumcised with him. Genesis chapter 18 And the Lord appeared to him by the ox of Mamor as he sat at the door of his tent in the heat of the day. He lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing in front of him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent of the door to meet them, and bowed himself to the earth, and, he, and said, O Lord, if I have found favor in your sight, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought, wash your feet, and rest yourself under the tree. Well, I bring you a morsel of bread that you may refresh yourself, and after that you may pass on, since you have come to your servant. So they said, Do as you have said. Abraham went quickly into the tent to say, I. Now I'm going to do it the other way. Verse 6. And, and, Abraham went, and Abraham went quickly into the tent to Sarah. And, they, and said, Quick, 
three seeds of fine flour, knead it, and make cakes. And Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to to a young man who prepared it quickly. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before, before uh, them. And he stood by them under the tree while they ate. Then they said to him, where is Sarah, your wife? And he said, She is in the tent. And the Lord said, I will surely return to you about this time next year. And Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent of the door behind him. Now Abram and Sarah were old, advanced in years. The way woman had ceased to be with Sarah. So Sarah laughed at herself, saying, After I am worn out and my Lord is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time I will return to you. About this time next year Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied it, saying, I did not laugh. For she was afraid. He said, No, but you did laugh. Then the men set out from there, and they looked down towards Sodom, and Abraham went with him, with them to set them on their way. The, the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed for him? For I have chosen him, that he may be command his children and his house hold after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice. So the Lord may bring to Abram what he, what he has promised him. Then the Lord said, Because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and their sin is very grave, I will go down to see whether or not. Well, sorry, verse 21 again. I will go down to see whether they have done all together according to the outcry that has come to me. And if not, I will know. So, so the man turned from there and went towards Sodom. But Abraham still stood before the Lord. Then Abraham drew near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are fifty righteous within the city. Will you then sweep away the place and not spare it the fifty righteous who are in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to put the righteous to death of the wicked, so that the wicked 
so that the righteous fare as the wicked. Far be that from you. Shall, shall not the judge of earth, the judge of all the earth, do what is just? And the Lord said, If I find at Sodom fifty righteous people in the whole city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham answered and said, Behold, I, I have undertaken to speak to the Lord. I who am but dust and ashes. Suppose five of the fifty righteous were lacking. Will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? Again he spoke to him and said, Suppose four, forty are found there, he answered. For the sake of forty, I will not do it. Then he said, Oh, oh let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Suppose thirty are found there. He answered, I will not do it, if I find any there. He said, Behold, I have undertaken to speak to the Lord. Suppose twenty are found there. He answered, For the sake of twenty, I will not destroy it. Then he said, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak again for this once. Suppose ten are found there. He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. And the Lord went his way when he had finished speaking to Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. Genesis chapters 16 through 18. <coughs> Do we have any prayer requests uh, today? I'll give you all a couple minutes. I need some water to get my voice back after reading. Uh, Angie said uh, she lost me for a bit. By the way, hi, Angie. Uh, am I back, Angie? Do I need to reread something for you, sister? Okay, Angie says I'm good. Alright, well, if nobody has any prayer requests, well, let's go to God. Father in heaven, thank you so much for your righteousness. Thank you that you were merciful with Abraham and did not... Uh, sweep away the righteous with the wicked. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Help us to learn from the faith of Abraham and apply his faith to our lives. Please bless us as we continue reading. In Christ's name, amen. Well, I thank you all for joining me today, uh, and Lord willing, uh, tomorrow will be a shorter reading, 
Uh, we are scheduled to read Genesis 19 through 20, 19 and 20 tomorrow. And I hope you can make it, uh, make it to a reading, uh, tomorrow. But until tomorrow, I'll see you then. God bless. See you tomorrow.